Hello, this is Jun Jie Feng, a PhD student from CPAS, Virginia Tech. In this video, I will give you a brief introduction of our omnidirectional wireless power transfer system for portable devices. We use many portable devices in our daily life, such as cell phone, Bluetooth earphone, wearable devices, and etc. Wireless charging will be an attractive feature for this product, which can free us from wires. Up to now, wireless charging products in market are directional systems, such as Samsung and Apple's charging pad. The magnetic field induced by this pad is perpendicular with the surface. The receiver devices must be perpendicular to the field to get efficient charging, which means alignment is still needed in their system, which is not user-friendly. Our idea is to build a wireless charging ball with a mini directional field, which means you can simply drop your devices in the ball and get efficient charging. Due to mechanical reason, small portable devices is more likely to fall into the bottom of the ball, since the orientation of small portable devices is very flexible. Therefore, a mini directional field distribution is needed in the bottom. As for side effects, only planar devices can take a rest on it, and the orientation of planar devices is pretty fixed, so field perpendicular to surface is preferred in side effects. This is our transmitter core structure. There are five cores in total, four cores spread around side effects, and one core down in the bottom. The excitation current of five coils is shown here. With this modulated exciting current, field in the bottom will rotate in different direction. To realize the field distribution, FEA simulation result is shown in this page. At first, field is perpendicular to surface inside the face. It is good for charging planar devices. Then, for field distribution in the bottom, the magnetic field will rotate in different directions and cover all the directions in 3D space. Therefore, no matter how you place your small, small portable devices, we can always find one direction field which is perpendicular to your devices. With this charging ball, you can simply drop your devices in the ball and get efficient charging. To verify our concept, several experiments are conducted here. At first, this is an example wireless charging pad in the market. There is no doubt it can charge the receiver coil in this direction. You can see here the LED is lighted on. And, uh, however, if the receiver coil is in this direction, it will receive very few energy, so the LED will not be lighted on. Then move to our omnidirectional wireless power transfer system. This is our charging ball. The excitation current waveform is shown here. They are modulated as I mentioned before in the slides. And the rooming waveform is also provided in the bottom. So they are 6.78 MHz AC current. With this modulated exciting current, we can get a mini directional field in the bottom of our charging ball. Therefore, no matter how I place the receiver coil, the LED can always be lighted on. And also, as for the side face, when the receiver coil is perpendicular to the surface, it can be also lighted on. In summary, with our charging ball, you can simply drop your device in the ball and get an efficient charge. That's all for my current research. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.